I'm Lucy Manukan. Hi, I'm Kim Tate. And today we're, we're at Northern Stage here um, to watch a play called Apples, which is a story of love of adolescence. Yeah, then we're going to be uh, interviewing the cast and crew about how they felt about the performance. We will be discussing the issues that have been raised uh, in the play. And, well, really, we've got to go and see it now because we're actually quite late. Yeah, it's starting, so uh, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hey, my name's Scott Turnbull and I uh, played the part of Adam in the play. And he's Adam? Uh, he's, a, he's a young lad who's uh, struggling with lots of things in life. He's got an um, obsessive compulsive disorder, so he's got to shut everything six or seven times before it's entirely shut. And he falls in love with a girl called Eve who doesn't even know he exists. And it's, uh, that's what the story's about. It's about him trying to win the love of a girl. I'm Jade and I'm playing Claire in the play and Claire's the kind of teenage mum. She's a bit of a party girl when she gets herself knocked up and she doesn't have any parental guidance so she ends up getting a bit depressed and having a bit of a tragic end to the story. Uh, my name's Louis Roberts and I play the character of Gary Clinton in Apples who um, is a bit of a Roman. Uh, I think he's just a guy, 15 year old, who's had no kind of parental guidance. Uh, so therefore has no sort of moral compass about what he does. So he does a lot of things throughout the play that are obviously very bad. And so it's, yes, he's horrible and yes, he's nasty, but you've kind of got to feel sorry for him at the same time. And I'm playing Debbie and various characters, including both Eve and Adam's mum, Eve's sister. Um, but I guess like, Debbie's my main role. Enjoyed it or not? So I saw it was a luscious journey of young characters that found beauty and terror and found beauty again. I loved it. I loved it. It's a, it's kind of it's a reflection on everyone because everyone kind of tries to fit in, you know, and because of that you don't become yourself anymore and you're trying to do something to, to become a better person when really I think the the moral of the story is to try and be yourself a little bit and then you know things will come to you eventually. What did, what did you think about, um, what, what, what stood out for you the most out of all the play? Uh, I think it was, it was the women's relationships to each other, the way they interpreted what was, what was right and wrong, they made their own law between them. And do you think it's relevant today, what they were talking about? Absolutely, absolutely relevant. I, I, I do a lot of plays so it's kind of like, it's, it's nice to do a play where you get such a good part. And um, and I mean it's it, it, it's adapted from a novel by a guy called Richard Millward, and it's it's about important stuff. It's about the place where I come from, so it's nice to be able to travel around the country telling people what goes on in like young people's lives. So somehow this guy Richard Millward has caught a voice, an inner voice of young people like I've never read before. It's so unusual. And I, and I feel that this theatre adaptation now uh, illuminates and not illustrates the book. Did you read the book before? Yeah, you? I read the book, yeah. Yeah, what did you think about it first time? Do you imagine well, yourself being in it and playing any other characters? No, not really. I mean, when I, when I went for the audition, he asked me to audition for both parts, but I just, I just wanted to do the part of Adam, so that's what I did. Yeah. And it, it turned out nice. You, you did it pretty well because, I mean, it's, it's you're really different in in real life, so it's and you did amazingly to show like exactly what your character was like, and I could see all of the you know everything you spoke about and all the being hit and everything. That was that was pretty amazing. So I think it was a, it's a learning for all of us. <laughs> yeah. There is so much talent in the young actors in Teesside and Tyneside that actually it wasn't difficult but to find all actors who were from this region. It's, I like this company a lot. Yeah, so you feel like they have influenced the play a lot oh, of yeah.
in every character in the show, there's a somebody knows a character in the show because you've experienced somebody like that from your time at school or from your, your time just growing up. People, and I think like the older generation don't realise that this kind of goes on, you know. But it's it's a it's a truthful. It's a truthful so, do you piece. think it's more of a learning? For the adults who watch the play, rather than for the, for the young people. Well, it's it's for everyone. It's for it's for the young the young people to, to feel that they're not alone, and then for the for the adults to kind of to look at things from a different point of view for once. Mm -hmm.